Hey everyone, this is Scott from startmedia.com and in this video we are covering WP Sweep. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, uh, WP Sweep is just a database optimization plugin very similar to WP Optimize except that it only focuses on that. And it has more cleaning functionality than basically any other cleaning solution on the market. Now because it's a plugin, you must be aware, especially because you're cleaning items out of your database, which means data will be removed. You should back up your database using something like Updraft Plus, uh, all-in-one WP migration, whatever you have available to you. If you have somebody who maintains your website, ask them to back it up. If you have even a hosting backup, just make sure you run something before you do any of this. I'm gonna walk you through what each of the general options is, what they do, and which ones you really need to be concerned about. So the first one is the standard post section. You can remove revision data. Uh, so post, every time you save it, will save a revision, which is a copy of the post at the time of save in your database. By default, there is no limit. Um, you could have several thousand revisions on a website. You should clean these out fairly regularly to prevent your database from getting quite large, especially if you have very large, uh, complicated page builders, uh, Elementor, uh, Visual Composer, any of the um, well-known ones. You should clean them out just so that way your database stays lean. So you run ahead, you can go ahead and run your sweep like you would here. And then of course, you could, if you wanted to click details, they can spit out details, but they're kind of useless in my opinion, so I don't really use them. Uh, auto drafts are just posts that are auto saved when you haven't manually run the save. Um, this happens all the time. You edit a post, you forget to hit save. The server will automatically try to save it in the background for you. And the auto draft is there before you saved it on yourself. So you edit, you, let's say you begin to write a post and you didn't hit that save as draft button, but the server did manage to get you a draft at some point that is an auto draft. So you can clean those out. You should do this regularly if you don't have any content that's either scheduled or any content that you were recently working on and isn't published or finished. Uh, my general rule of thumb is, is if you don't have any posts in draft, uh, just go ahead and clean them out. Uh, deleted posts are posts that you've obviously marked and sent to the trash bin. Those posts should automatically get deleted on their own scheduled basis but you can clean them out anyways right here to get them off the site quicker. Um, you shouldn't have a large amount of deleted content because even though it's deleted, it still lives in the database. Orphaned post meta is meta that either was saved in the post meta table that references a post that doesn't exist anymore or the data was something useless like it returned null. Uh, basically, the what it does is it'll check your database and it will go to check the post meta and it will check the ID of the post that it was related to. Let's say you had a um, portfolio. Maybe you had a portfolio on your website at one point and you added a bunch of custom post meta and your theme had post meta, but you deleted all those posts, but that meta still remains. This will delete that by checking the post ID. Uh, duplicated post meta is very similar to the orphan post meta. It'll check for any keys that were duplicated and it will delete those. The OEmbed caches are when you paste a link in your ad in your post, um, you're trying to paste like a YouTube video like this one in your post, WordPress will convert those links into an O embed. That's why it's so convenient. You don't need to copy some kind of script or copy an iframe embed. You just copy the link and it automatically generates it. And this will just allow you to clear out that cache data. There really isn't a good use case for clearing out the cache data unless for some reason you had a lot of orphaned post meta that was for some reason left over but I've never really seen a good situation where you should routinely clean this information out, so I normally just leave it. Uh, comment sweep, your unapproved comments are quite obvious. There are comments that have been submitted on the website that you haven't approved, um, you can delete them. Spammed comments are comments that you've either flagged to spam or you, something like Akizmet has flagged to spam. You should delete these if you can. Spammed comments can really take up a large chunk of your database. I had a website uh, just yesterday even that had 39,000 spam comments in the database. And they were just sitting there, just chilling. Um, and I had to delete them all and it took a, a good chunk of time but they eventually got cleaned out. Deleted comments are basically the exact same thing as deleted posts, they're in the trash window. Trashed comments and posts all again schedule are scheduled to automatically delete. Um, this just clears them out faster. Orphaned comment meta and duplicated comment meta are exactly the same thing as the post meta. 
Uh, there is meta assigned to comments, some themes and plugins. Uh, WP Discuss is a plugin and a comment solution that will override the default comment section. This will just make sure again that any orphaned or duplicated data is cleaned out. Again, especially with those plugins, do be careful that you have a proper backup in place. Uh, user sweep, um, you can delete orphaned and duplicated user meta. Plugins add all sorts of user meta onto the database nowadays. Um, whether you use BBPress, BuddyPress, no matter what solution it is you're using, this data will indeed either be duplicated or orphaned because if you add a pay, uh, plugin and the plugin adds all this data and you may clear out all your users. I've had websites that I have built for clients where they had login functionality just through BuddyPress. And they decided after a while that they weren't gaining any benefits from BuddyPress, so we just deleted it. And we had to delete all the users, and then we had to delete all the orphaned and duplicated meta. And even if there weren't that many active users, a lot of times the meta does get left behind. So that is something you should run fairly regularly if you get flagged for it. If it's a single user website and you're just yourself as the administrator, maybe you have your... Uh, developer as the secondary user, you shouldn't need to worry about it too much. The term sweep again is like the uh, post sweep, but it has um, some interesting functionality in here. So number one, orphan term meadow is basically the exact same thing as the uh, orphan as the orphan post and comment meta. It will delete orphan data that's associated with terms. Terms are any form of taxonomy in WordPress. So categories, tags, product categories, product tags, shipping classes, etc. Anything that is defined as a taxonomy is a term. Duplicated term meta will delete the um, term meta that's been duplicated. Happens all the time. Uh, orphaned term relationship. So a term has a relationship with either other terms or other or post. So the easiest way I could try to think of it is uh, imagine you had a post at one point and you had... Um, 20 tags associated with it for some reason. You should not have 20 tags associated with your post. Just gonna put that out there. Uh, you have 20 tags attached to it. You deleted the post. The relationship data is probably still going to be there in the database. This will just clean that out. Um, it's not a lot of data, but it can collect over the years if you write a lot of content. Unused terms will delete terms that have no post associated with them. However, if you have terms that a post is drafted with and you delete them, they will no longer have any term associated with them because it will delete them if the, even if the post is not if the post isn't published, it will delete the terms. And this can be useful, especially if you're cleaning up your website. Uh, oftentimes when people go through and they scrub old contents, they tend to leave older taxonomy on there that tend to have zero posts. Um, I see, and you also at times when you accidentally duplicate taxonomy, you may not even be aware. Uh, if you're typing in tags in the Gutenberg block editor and you put a comma in the wrong place, so you could be writing terms, but you put an, uh, but before you write the S, you put in a, um, a comma, you get, then you make a new tag called term. Then you have to rewrite it and you just think, oh, if you uncheck it, it's gone, but it's not. It's still saved in the database. It just has no post associated with it. Um, you can save quite a bit of space by deleting old terms that have no content in them. One thing to keep in mind though is depending on your SEO tool and how you've been structuring your content, um, some people for some reason tend to accidentally link to unused terms on their website but they also tend to overly stress about 404s. So keep in mind that if you delete your terms, you are going to have 404 errors. Now, a 404 error just means, hey, the content no longer exists, and it won't exist, but you should be well aware that if you delete this, you're actually deleting live content that does appear on the front end under its own URL. Unlike comments which aren't technically indexed as their own pages, these are. So be very careful of that. Under the options sweep, you can just choose to delete your transient options. This will delete all options. It'll just delete all of them, whether they're expired or not. Uh, transients are basically temporary storage. Uh, it's a temporary storage of information in WordPress. 
Uh, it's used typically for data that's being fetched from a third party. Um, let's say you're fetching API information from say Instagram and you wanna display an Instagram widget so you can call out to the API and you can store that data and all the posts that you retrieved in a transient. The good thing about transients are is because they're temporary, if they're, autom if they're deleted and they're necessary, they can just automatically be refetched when the page is deleted. Um, the downside of transients though is oftentimes they do get out of control on, with certain plugins. And by that, I mean you have plugins that just create an absurd amount of transients. And if you delete them, the transient data may not be gone because the cleanup routine may just not be running or they didn't set a proper expiration time. So you can go ahead and safely clear your transients at any time. Just remember that it will automatically regenerate them every time you go to your page if they're necessary. Um, then you have the database sweep, which just runs the optimized query against your database. This removes overhead in your tables. If you've ever opened up PHP My Admin and you had the list of all your tables and you looked on the far right hand side and it said overhead, that's what this data is. This will just run and optimize all your tables. Keep in mind it does it indiscriminately regardless if you have My ISAM tables or inodb. However, um, I would probably say it's safe to say you should be only using inodb now for all your WordPress based website. And finally, you have the sweep all button, which will, as its name implies, run all the available sweep options that it can. Um, that's really all there is to the plugin. It's definitely my preferred tool if I'm trying to deep clean a database with where I don't have access to something like phpMyAdmin where I can just run queries against the database. And I will say that this plugin is quite effective. One thing to note though, if there is a substantial amount of data that needs to be cleared and you're on a slower host, the data may not get cleared in one run. And that's because the plugin does an Ajax call. And the problem is, is on bad hosts and where they offer you unlimited everything, but they are very slow, this process can get hung. And when it gets hung, you can sometimes run into some strange issues. But the biggest thing is, is you may get, um, temporarily a uh, error database connection issue or the data will just keep you'll refresh the page like 30 minutes later and the data has barely gone down at all and that's because the process timed out after x amount of seconds or whatever the server has it set to if you have any questions about this plugin please feel free to ask otherwise make sure to like subscribe and i will see you in the next one